Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I am Leanne Russo Liddell, um, Associate Broker and Realtor with Ocasio Realty. And today I am here with Megan. She's the owner of Megan Ray Photography and I'm super excited to have her here. Um, Megan is a friend of mine and I'm excited to help her um, get the word out about her new photography business. So Megan Ray Photography is a wonderful company that specializes in lifestyle, elopement, and wedding photography. So thanks so much for joining me, Megan. Again, I'm really glad that you're here. So I want to just dive right in and get to know more about you and your business. So tell me a little bit about your business and how you got started. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. Um, me here. Um, my business, uh, like you said, I do elopements, weddings, and lifestyle photography. Um, I shoot mostly locally, but I also am lucky enough to travel sometimes too. Okay. Uh, so I've gotten to travel and meet some really amazing clients. Uh, I got started, honestly, I've loved photography since I was little. Probably one of my first cameras was one of the like old school Polaroids. Nice. And then uh, when I was a little older, I uh, kind of stole my grandmother's old Pentax 35 millimeter camera. Okay, cool. Um, I kind of brought that thing everywhere. I brought it on vacations, you know, took pictures of our dogs, and I just kind of stuck with it through school, and then now I have my business. Awesome, awesome. So tell me a little bit about what, you know, lifestyle and, and wedding photography kind of means for you? What are things that you like to try to capture, I guess, in those moments? Um, for me, it's really about capturing emotions. I want to capture, you know, those intimate moments that maybe not everyone gets to see or, you know, doesn't normally get captured in a picture. Normally, everyone's just kind of smiling at the camera. Sure. <laughs> Post. Um, my goal is to get something more organic and real. Awesome. Awesome. I like that a lot. Um, so I know things are obviously crazy with the pandemic, but what are some of your goals for the next year? Um, that's a good question. Um, as a new business owner, uh, I'm figuring a lot of stuff out as I go. Sure. <laughs> this first year was honestly really amazing. Uh, even through a pandemic, I've really been um, doing better than I ever thought I would be able to in my first year. I'm really continuing to grow. Um, so next year, I just want to do more of that, more growing, get capture even more beautiful memories in front of my lens. Um, I recently did a a collaboration for a stylized shoot up in uh, Sedona. Cool. Rock. Yeah, it was super cool. So we um, had some local vendors uh, help out. So we had um, Dana at the Floral Theory, and I also had Amber at Something Beautiful Hair and Makeup. They were able to help make our models just look gorgeous and um, awesome. Yeah, I, so I would love to do some of that next year, too. Work with more local vendors, build those relationships, and make beautiful pictures. Awesome. I love it. Thanks so much for sharing with me. Um, what are some of your favorite things to do, you know, in the neighborhood and in, in the Phoenix area? Um, yeah, uh, me and my husband love to eat. Uh, that's probably our favorite pastime is trying new restaurants. Um, mm -hmm. and honestly I have a big sweet tooth <laughs> okay so I personally uh, I try to go to Essence Bakery and get their raspberry rose macaroons like <laughs> once a week Essence and, is really good and then right now Sweet Republic I don't know if you've heard of them they yes they are in walking distance from my house so <laughs> <laughs> so I get their pumpkin ice cream sandwich between two molasses cookies. Ooh, so, I'll have to try that. That sounds awesome. It's really, really good. So that's probably our favorite thing to do is just to try all the different restaurants because there's really a lot of good stuff. 
there is, there yeah. is. I know I have so many good restaurants around here. <laughs> I will definitely have to try the pumpkin ice cream with the molasses cookie. That sounds pretty good. We have it this year because I made my husband when I was pregnant. I eat those like every other day. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Um, when you're not working, uh, you know, what, what are some things that you like to do? Um, uh, we have, actually my family, we have uh, tickets, season annual passes to some of the local places. So like the Odyssey and the Phoenix Zoo. Nice. Uh, I like to get our money's worth, so we go there a lot. Um, we haven't been to the Phoenix Zoo yet since the pandemic, but we're hoping, you know, in the next month or so it'll be cool enough yeah. to head over there. That's so we, awesome. We do a lot of that. It, awesome. When it's just me and I get my rare downtime, um, I am a huge horror movie, movie buff. Really? Very yeah. cool. I, <laughs> I watch a lot of scary movies and I love um, scary books too. I even started a... Uh, horror uh, book club with some of my friends so nice that's awesome what are what are you guys reading right now in your horror book club um what's the name of it we just started reading oh, I'll, I'll have to think of let me look up the name real quick okay, okay. <laughs> but there's there's really so what are some of your favorites oh man like books or movies <laughs> love uh joe hill i think he is spooky he is super what has he made um well Written. he's so he's stephen king's son ah okay cool he is just as creepy but not as long-winded stephen king <laughs> like <laughs> yeah he can get a little long-winded yeah i remember when i read the stand it was like this long so so it's similar to me style but it's like it gets more to the point and it kind of Okay. As someone that has a toddler, I need a book that just kind of gets you there, you know? Like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <the> time. <laughs> yeah. Not right now, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> awesome. What um, What are some of your favorite horror movies that you maybe have watched over and over again, or just ones that you really like? Um, I like some of the old school ones, like um, The Creature. Um, the Black Lagoon is okay. classic. Um, I love the Alien movies. Uh, just like the classic slasher films too. Uh, I don't like anything too gory. So I just like more like, you know, a good ghost story or sci-fi creatures. Okay, cool. Right on. That's neat. And I like that you started a book club. <laughs> That's fun. I like it. I like it. Finding people that wanted to join is like the other kind of miracle, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've never really read a ton of horror or like thrillers. Um, I read a lot of like Dean Koontz when I was like, like in like middle school, like high school. So I remember I did a book report on uh, one of his books. So in like middle school. <laughs> book intensity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's very cool, though. Um, I'm glad you you shared that with me. That's neat. Um, as far as you know, your your business concern is concerned. Is there anything like exciting going on or or coming up that you want people to know about? Um, I guess I would just want to let people know that. Uh, recently were engaged or are currently planning their wedding that um, I think next year is going to be kind of crazy because uh, all the weddings I think a lot of people are getting going to get married next year that couldn't get married this year <laughs> yeah and you still yeah. have like the same number of people getting engaged this year that want to have weddings next year so um, I guess the biggest thing is for us wedding photographers uh, next year's schedule is going to be pretty busy so i would just recommend if you want to get married next year um i would start looking for a photographer and book you know now 
Yeah. No. Yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good, good advice. Thanks for sharing that. Um, and everybody that's watching, just so you know, um, all of Megan's contact information and links to her sites um, are going to be available in the written portion of this interview. So um, you'll be able to reach out to her directly. And I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching. Um, once again, I'm Leanne Russo Liddell, um, Associate Broker and Realtor with Ocasio Realty. And um, I had the pleasure of speaking with Megan, uh, the owner at Megan Ray Photography. And um, if you have a business and you also want to be featured, um, reach out to me today. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.